Gita Catherine Manning, and I'm going to lead you through the daily energy routine, Donna Eden's work, and I hope it does for you what it's done for me. This is a wonderful way to increase vitality, energy, and hopefully to heal any illness you may have. I'm going to begin a little differently. We're going to begin with a homolateral repatterning cross crawl. This is very different, and it's very important that we begin this way rather than just begin with the three thumps. I've done a lot of research on this, and I know that if you correct any crossover energies first, it makes everything more deeply imbibed, okay? So first begin with marching in place 12 times. Make sure you really swing your arms, and this is how I count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. After I hit 12, I take a deep breath, and I'm now telling my brain, my body, my spirit that I'm gonna do a cross crawl. And this is very important to reorganize a different and start a different pattern, okay? Right to left, cross crawl. Two, three, four, I'm really swinging, five, woo, six, you can do this to music, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And then you'll do another round of these. And hopefully after a while, you will create a new habit. But I do this every day because I just know it's a good thing to do. An alternative is you can use poi balls, P-O-I balls, or anything that's weighted equally. And you do homolateral first. This is fun. <laughs> and then you bring, if you can't do both together, you do a figure eight with the right arm and then the left arm, and then hopefully together. <clears throat> it took me about seven years to be able to do this. It's a lot of fun, and this really, really helps organize the brain. This is really good for kids, okay? And these are the three thumps. The first thump is kidney 27. This is the end of the kidney meridian. This is a very important acupuncture point. It's where all the energies come forward and exit the body, so you want to wake it up. Find the nape of the neck, come down an inch and over an inch, and you tap it. You tap it nice and hard. I really feel like you should get this going, just really get the energy moving. This is kidney 27, boom. And then the next one is a thymus gland right here. Really get that going, mm, like Tarzan. Just get it going. I really think that he was trying to wake up his immune system because you know, he was really a weakling. And then you want to find, take your three fingers like this. It's called a three finger notch. And you go under your breasts along what would be a bra line, even if a man had a bra on, and you tap here. This is a third of the thumbs and you're tapping spleen neurolymphatic points. Oh, that feels good. You can also take your thumb and you can hit some, ow, spleen <laughs> acupuncture points here. You can do all of them. This is really good, the three thumps. Okay, I'm now gonna get a chair again and do the Wayne Cook posture. Bye bye, boy balls. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do the Wayne Cook posture. Dr. Wayne Cook, uh, he was famous I think for developing this neurological posture for stuttering, and yet this has done wonders for people with a brain organization, and if you can't take in what you're reading or you're losing your words, this will help you. Okay, so I've crossed my left foot over my right knee. I'm taking my left hand and putting it on the bottom of the foot, and this hand on the shin. And you're gonna pull up and take three deep breaths with your back nice and straight. Just really, really, really take these deep breaths. This helps a lot for this organization. And then you switch sides. You place your left foot down and your right foot over the left knee. Right hand on the bottom of the foot and the left hand on the shin under the arm. Take three deep breaths again. Then both feet flat on the floor and you place your hands in a triangle church in the steeple, and you place your thumbs on your eyebrows, which is the beginning of the nervous system or bladder meridian, and three more deep breaths. And while you're here, just let your thumbs come over your eyebrows and stretch the energy along the forehead. One more time. I am ready to go smarter than I was before. <laughs> Good. Okay, now I'm going to stand up <clears throat> and I'm going to move my chair. <clears throat> and I'm going
going to do a crown pull, which is going to just get rid of a lot of the, any congested energy or any thinking energy that's too much in my head, even in the beginning of the morning. So I'm placing my fingers in your forehead, pushing in and really pulling the energy up. All right, it just helps with any congestion you may have in your head, at the hairline, here in the crown, and just pull it down. It feels very good. I'm gonna go to the back of my head, and pull, and even on my neck, whoosh, all the energy goes bye-bye, and then pull the energy, and I just let my fingers and hands just rest on my shoulders until they don't want to be there anymore, and they fall. And now we're going to do a neurolymphatic massage. Now this can take a little more time depending on how long you want to spend on each point every day. My recommendation is do a little bit every day, one part of the body. It's just too much flushing of toxins, okay? So, this can, they're lymph, lymph <clears throat> points right here. These are neurolymphatic points governing heart, stomach, ow. Right here, all along here, under here, the rib cage, under each breast. This is liver, this is stomach, particularly along the sternum and between the ribs. Yikes. <laughs> Ileocecal valve and Houston valve top of the pubic bone, which is bladder, and really every day work the sides of the legs, which is large intestine, and the insides of the legs, which is small intestine. It's good to do it together. It's really important to work these points. I'll tell you, you can just keep colds away so well if you do these points every day. Then the arms actually, there's points here for kidney that help the eyes. It's really wonderful. Get a chart, do it. It's wonderful to do this. And of course, if you have a partner, the spinal flush along the spine really moves everything down. This is wonderful. We're going to do separating heaven and earth, which is probably 5,000 years old. It's from Tibet, and it's really good for arthritis and for insomnia. Rub your hands together and shake them off. And rub them together again and shake them off. And bring them to a prayer position. Take a deep breath in, and on the out breath, I'm going to push up and down. Push up with my right hand and down with my left. Breathe in. And breathe out, come back to prayer. This is wonderful, stretching both sides of my body. Breathe in, it feels so good, and breathe out. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. This is good for stagnant liver chi, if you have it. And breathe out, one more time, breathe in. And I'm just going to let my body just fall, knees bent, and just hang here for a couple of minutes, and a couple of breaths. Mm. And then place your hands on the outside of your toes and bring them up the inside of the legs and up the inside of the body and off under the arms, spleen meridian, in any way you can. <laughs> and now I'm going to go straight to the Celtic weave, rubbing my hands together again and shaking them off and placing my hands by my ears. And this is wonderful for weaving energies together and just feeling all loosely knit and yet bound in a good way. Bring your elbows together and bring your hands out like this. Bring your hands together and out like this. Bring them together and out like this. And then scoop energy up and let it just fall down all over. That feels good. That's a Celtic weave. We're almost finished. We're going to do a zip up. Now, central meridian comes all the way up to the bottom lip. This is also called conception vessel. Zip it up. Zip it up. Zip it up. The pubic bone to the lower lip, just keep it zipped up. Good stuff happens when you zip it up, okay? And last but not least, the hookup. Mm -hmm. One finger in the belly button pulling up and another in the third eye. And you pull up. You pull up very firmly, but, you know, not aggressively. Pulling up this... this uh, glues together the central and the governing meridians, and it really does keep you very hooked up, very uh, feeling integrated and congruent throughout the day. And you hold this for a good 30 seconds, and it's really, really an important hookup. Central and governing meridians, it keeps you glued together. And you can do this all through the day, but this is how I end my routine, and I know I'm good to go. I find the longer I hold that, the better I feel. I don't come unglued. 
literally. I'm keeping myself together, my meridians together, my brain together, and my day is getting ready to begin. And that is my daily energy routine.